everyone, today I'm going to be filming a drugstore haul for you and although we don't call them drugstores in the UK, I'm going to call them that for the purpose of this video just so we all know what I'm talking about. I basically did a bit of shopping and it was all kind of budget makeup. So I thought I'd show you guys, I haven't tried some of the products out because I literally bought them about two days ago. I thought I'd just show you what I picked up. The first two items I picked up were nail polishes. And the first one is Revlon 370 Smoldering which is a really lovely blue purple lilac duochrome kind of colour. I wore this to the Cosmo Blog Awards and it is just beautiful. Uh, you can see it on my nails I think in my Get Ready With Me video that, which I did on my birthday, I'll link that up below. It's one of my favourite videos I've ever filmed so you should definitely go watch that one. Um, but I wore this and it was really lovely, it's really nice for kind of like a night out kind of situation. And the next one I picked up is the Barry M Jelly um, Nail Polish in Blood Orange. It's a really lovely kind of dark red colour, all of the rest of my red nail polishes were kind of post box red, really really bright, really lovely for summer but not so appropriate for kind of autumn winter but this one is a really lovely kind of darkish but still red red, it's not burgundy, it's nothing like that, it's on my nails at the moment, it's not like too dark so it's not really really autumnal but it's kind of like a nice all year round shade, it's quite similar to Essie, I think it's Apertif something like that. I've got it on my nails today, it's really lovely um, and I like the Barry M Jelly nail polishes because they're just really good value for money because the finish is lovely, they last for ages and you get a really good colour range in them as well. The next two items I picked up were lipsticks and I picked up two of the Rimmel Moisture Renew lipsticks which they've read on the packaging which I really like because I used to hate the packaging. I picked up Notting Hill Nude and In Love With Ginger. Notting Hill Nude is quite obviously a nude. Um, it's quite a dark nude which I kind of expected it just to be a tiny bit lighter and I'm not sure how this is working at the moment because I am so, so pale. But I'm going to keep it and see how I get on with it in the summer because at the moment it's just slightly too dark and just looks a bit grannyish on my lips. The one I'm really loving is In Love With Ginger which is a really beautiful kind of orangey red colour. It is just stunning. I really like the finish of it. It lasts for ages. I wore it all day at work the other, the other day and it was amazing. Um, I just think it is Beautiful. I think it will definitely be making an appearance in my October favourites because I friggin love it. And the one thing you can guarantee that I'm going to pick up if I go into any form of drugstore over here, Boots, Superdrug, whatever, every time I go in I pick up a collection, a Lasting Perfection Concealer. I picked this up in shade 2 because my shade 2 is running out. I really love picking a new one up because the packaging gets grubby so quickly so it's really satisfying getting one that's all nice and New. And then I went a little bit base crazy and basically the first time I popped into Boots, this kind of all happened over the period of a week where I bought all this stuff, um, but the first time I went into Boots I bought the Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation and I got it in the shade 150 which is nude. In the shop it just seemed like my perfect shade, I thought yeah that would definitely match up with my skin tone. Um, so I picked this one up, I think it was about £8 or something like that maybe. Um, Got it home and it kind of matched but it was just ever so slightly too dark. It's a really lovely sheer foundation so when I put it on you couldn't, it kind of blended in really nicely and you couldn't really tell, it's not like it was a heavy coverage one where you could really tell that it was the wrong colour but the next one down which was 130 Shell was just kind of very much too pale for my skin but my skin is getting paler and paler by the day because I'm not getting any sunlight whatsoever at the moment. Um, so I went back and picked up Shell and basically I am currently wearing a combination of both of them. Um, and I really love this foundation. If I hadn't liked it I wouldn't have gone and picked up a second one to kind of mix them together but I really love the finish and the lasting power it has. It's really, it works really well on my skin. I really, really like it. So now I kind of have my perfect shade. Um, I'm wearing it today. I kind of just have made my perfect shade by combining the two of them and they were really cheap so it just kind of made sense for me to um, pick up both shades um, and I will kind of get paler and paler to the point where I am just using Shell and then in the summer I can start using um, Nude again which is great so now I'm covered pretty much for the rest of the year with these two. Um, the only thing that is a bit annoying is they don't come with a pump but I kind of like to do my foundation on the back of my hands anyway so it doesn't really bother me that you have to pour it at all really so yeah I definitely recommend picking these up if you are kind of on the hunt for a new foundation. And whilst we're still on the foundation crazy train I picked up the Bourjois Happy Light foundation in the shade, what shade are you? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
in the shade 51. Picking this up was a big risk for me because I usually break out the second a bourgeois foundation comes anywhere near my face. It They are just not Susie face friendly so I kind of took a risk with this one but I really wanted to try it and I think the packaging is really adorable I like the fact that it's pink on the thing that's just so cute so I just thought I'd give it a go anyway and I'm kind of really loving lighter foundations so I really wanted to give this one a go as well as the red Flon foundations and yeah I will let you know how this one goes I'm really excited but really scared at the same time I'll let you know how that one goes I also picked up the bourgeois illuminating powder thing I'm not quite sure what it's called because it's got like so much writing on the front I get a bit confused but it's kind of meant to be like the budget version of the hourglass ambient lighting powders whatever they're called um and me and powder don't usually get on so I thought I'd pick this one up and give it a go because it's so cheap anyway that it doesn't really matter if I don't like it whereas spending £30 on a powder and me not liking it is kind of not fantastic so I thought I'd pick it up and give it a go and I I am not sure yeah I just don't think me and powders get on kind of full stop I tend to only use them for filming because I usually get a bit of a shiny forehead I'm gonna see if it kind of works any better for just touch-ups throughout the day as opposed to using it to set my makeup in the morning because at the moment when that happens my skin just looks horrible and cakey and nasty so I'm just gonna see how this goes for kind of on the go touch. The last product is a mascara and it's one that I've been meaning to pick up for ages and whilst I was spending a ridiculous amount of money in boots I just thought screw it I'm gonna buy it because I keep picking it up and putting it down every time I go in boots and it's the L'Oreal Full, Full Slash Telescopic mascara and it's the non-waterproof version because I really wanted a non-waterproof version for when I am wearing um, liquid eyeliner because when I wear liquid eyeliner there's a lot of makeup on my face anyway and if I put waterproof uh, mascara on along with that it's a complete faff to get off um, so I thought I'd pick up one that would kind of come off a little bit easier at the end of the day let you know how this one goes because so far I'm really loving the waterproof version so yeah, I want to love the normal to proof version so I can get take it off easier. So that is my budget beauty haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, there will be a autumn style haul coming up soon. I just need to go around my incredibly messy room and pick up all the pieces that I've been buying. I need to track them all down, go through my washing and all of that stuff. So yeah, I just need to track all of those things down and then I will be doing that for you. And um, if you have any video requests, then let me know in the comments below and I'm also going to be doing um, a couple of FAQ videos as well, so if you have any questions for those, then make sure you pop them in the comments below as well. But that's all from me today, so I hope you have all had a lovely weekend, and I will see you guys later. Bye!